Hey, what's up everyone? I'm Kyle Grimm. This is 70% Art. And today we're gonna to be discussing building these acoustic panels that you can see in the mirror behind me. So acoustic panels decrease echo in a room just like this one. And they work in a really specific way, which is that they have a kind of coarse fabric over the top and sound waves as they pass through them get trapped in those little pockets. So painting them has some unique challenges because we don't want the paint to fill all of these kind of pockets within the canvas so that it can still be a good sound absorbing material. So I'm gonna build these panels to spec based on this design here that I've mocked up. Three colors, highly inspired by Mark Rothko and his big field theory paintings. So I'm gonna borrow a few techniques from him as well that I think will help the sound absorption and I think they'll look great as well. So the first step that I'm gonna do is just mark out where these three different rectangles are going to fall within the painting. The next step after that is going to be darkening the areas around them with a dark mask of kind of um, brown, black, using a highly diluted watercolor. So that way it'll stain the fibers without going over them and filling in those acoustic gaps in the canvas. Next step after that, I'm gonna mask out the areas where the actual colors will be um, so that I can spray paint them a slightly lighter white to make them pop a little bit more. And then after that, we're gonna start applying our color. I'm gonna work from light to dark, starting with white, moving on to ochre, and then to red. And I'm gonna start with brush technique very lightly. This is something that Rothko actually did in his paintings as well. He said that he applied his paints with a very fast, vigorous brushing. And so I'm gonna do the same thing to essentially have a very thin layer of paint, but well distributed. So paint will be the first step. Next after that, I'm gonna go in with a palette knife and create some really large kind of expressive strokes to get everything going. After I've laid down the mask and started to work on these shapes, I'm gonna spray down some ink or some paint, just start brushing it on as quickly as I can, um, working it towards the edges and trying for it to not be too thick in any area. For the yellow ochre too, I'm gonna to start with a white base just to make sure that that color really pops. As I went on near the end of the day, it started getting cold out and there were big drips of paint on the painting. Um, both from kind of just spraying with the paint and also from going in with the palette knife. So I'm gonna use a hair dryer to just get this a little bit um, more solid before the next day. And the next day, the last step I'm gonna do is going in with the rest of my paint, really rounding out these figures and trying to give them this kind of like ephemeral, ghostly, quality instead of as much of kind of like a, a block. I want them to be more blobby and ephemeral. And I mean, look at that. So here's the final product. I'm super happy with it. It was so fun, but kind of nerve wracking working on something so big, but it was really great. You know, this I think doesn't quite have the refined look that I really wanted in the beginning, but honestly, I walk into the room now and hardly notice it. It's such a big kind of presence. It almost blends in and you know, it's been here for a couple of weeks now. I really, really love it. In the end, I think I might maybe sell these right before I move so I can get some new panels and do another painting project, similar Rothko style, but working out some of the kinks that I don't like as much about that. But that is really what 70% is all about. Seeing through a project, starting it, even though you're not sure you're gonna be able to nail it, but honestly, 
This one, I love so much. It's really great, and I hope that I can kind of recycle this idea and do it all again. So that's it for today. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Thank you.